guys, Joe Gray here. Today I'm going to try to teach you how to kick foot as requested from one of my subscribers. So first I'll go over the foot positioning. Foot positioning always varies with every trick because it's just on your preference. But for me, I usually put my front foot just below the back bolts in the front part. The core on the back two. Just below those and slant it a little bit like that. And then my back foot on the very end of the tail right there and that one's usually pretty straight with the heel hanging off on both but a little bit more with the front foot so the second step is popping it and that's just smacking the back down like that just like with an ollie you're going to want to have ollies first make sure you have those down good because that's this is usually the second or third trick you learn other than ollies and pop shove it so then for the third step, once you pop, your back foot usually come off and your front foot will flick that way. Um, kind of like an ollie, but instead of going straight up with it, you go off to the side. And you want to let your back foot come off, reach your back foot out a little bit to give this room to rotate. You see how my back foot came off? And then I flicked with my front foot, because my back foot was off, it gave it room to rotate. Some problems you usually have with flicking is you land on it upside down, and this could either be good or bad. If you're catching it in the air and then pushing it down that's good that means you got good flip but you're not giving it enough room to spin you're bringing your legs in too quickly so if that's happening you just wanna when you flick it reach your legs a little bit more spread them a little bit more and then that should give it room to rotate and bring them back in but if it's landing on the floor and then you're landing on top of it, that means you need more flip. And for that, you can just try to bring your front foot a little bit back more or even up. You can change it up and see which one works better. And then just focus a little bit more on the flip than the pop. Then the landing, so you pop. The flick is coming around. When you're first beginning, usually it'll land on the floor and then you'll land on top of it. But once you get a little bit better, you want to flick it and stop from flicking with your feet and then push it down. You'll have more control that way. Here's a super slow motion so you can kind of see all the steps that go into it. So once you land a kickflip, you can move on to other tricks like a vario kickflip, double kickflip, or tray flip, stuff like that. But you want to make sure you get kickflips down really good before you move on to other tricks. Because what will happen is you'll move on to another trick, and once you try to do a kickflip again, you won't be able to do it because you never really got it down. You just landed it once. So make sure you can do them pretty consistent. Yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Every day on the block, he knows how to work with boogies by making his way to the top. He don't think it's a common on his name. People keep asking him, was it giving that brother just a stand for an act? But no, he's living proof. Put a rock in the booth. He'll get you buzzing quicker than a shot of vodka with juice. Juice, him and this crew are known around. It's one of the best. Dedicated to what they do, but get 100%.